What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute core workout. If we've not met before, hi, my name's Margaret, I'm 26. I'm a certified Pilates instructor currently living in Colorado. Not for much longer though, so don't get too attached. For today's workout, go ahead and grab a small ball and some light weights, and we're gonna jump right into things. We'll get started just like we always do, all the way down on the mat. You can sit cross-legged, legs out in front of you, maybe sit in butterfly, wherever you feel good. Take your hands right to the tops of your legs. We'll take a big inhale, breathing in through the nose. I want you to think about breathing into the rib cage, letting the air travel from side to side front to back and then exhale out we're gonna let all of that air go three more like that nice big inhale and then we'll exhale out let it go good this is gonna be too big inhale and then we'll exhale out let it go good this will be our last one big deep breath and then we're going to exhale out, let it all go. Good. With that last exhale, we're going to take the legs so they come all the way out in front of us. We'll continue to warm up, so don't get freaked out. It's going to be a nice long warm up because 30 minutes is a long time for a core workout. Reach those arms out in front of you. We'll take an inhale, sit up nice and tall, flex your feet, pulling toes to nose. We're just going to um, pull the shoulder blades forward, pull the fingertips forward. Okay, and then inhale right there, you're gonna exhale, pull things right back in. So typically I have you guys do spine stretch where we go kind of like this. Here I just want you to pull the shoulder blades forward and then pull them right back in. Okay, we'll do three more like that, reaching forward. Think about pulling those shoulder blades apart and then exhale, you're gonna take things right back in. We'll just go for two. And then last one. Good, with that last one, we take it into our full spine stretch. Big inhale up at the top. You're gonna exhale, tuck chin to chest, round forward through the shoulders, reaching forward, forward, forward. Hands hover about six inches over the toes. You'll inhale there and then exhale, draw in from the belly button, start to roll yourself up inch by inch. Shoulders restack on top of the hips, crown of the head lifts. We'll just do that three more times. Inhale at the top, exhale, rounding forward, separating the shoulders. Good, inhale at the bottom, exhale, draw in from the belly button, round all the way back up. Good, we'll go for two. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, roll things up. Good, and then last one, inhale at the top, exhale, pull the shoulder blades apart, imagine you're rounding over a beach ball. Good, inhale right here, exhale. We're gonna roll all the way back up. Good, once you get back up to, the, up to the top, we'll take hands behind the head. You're gonna open up through your elbows. Take an inhale to twist over towards the right, and then exhale, we'll bring it back to center. Inhale, we'll twist the upper body over towards the left, and then exhale back to center. Two more each side, to the right, and then to the left. Good. And then we go last one over towards the left. Ooh, once you get there, I lied one more time, we're gonna come over towards the right. Take that left hand, reach it down towards the outside of your right foot, and then open up through that left shoulder. Oh wait, left hand to the outside of the right foot, open up through the right shoulder. <laughs> Big inhale, and then we're gonna exhale, pull things back up to center. Taking left hand back behind the head, we'll de-rotate through center, and then we're gonna twist on over towards the left. Taking the right hand, you're gonna reach it down towards the outside of your left foot, spiraling open through that left shoulder. Big inhale, and then we're gonna exhale, take things all the way back up to center, bending through the elbow, we'll de-rotate. You're gonna inhale, reach those arms up, and then exhale, hinge at your hips, just forward fold, taking it down to the mat. Big inhale, fill up with air. Exhale out, let it go. Good, and then when you're ready, you're just gonna roll yourself up to seated. We'll do a couple full roll downs all the way down, all the way up, and then we'll get into the fun stuff. Reaching those arms out in front of you, we'll take an inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, we'll draw belly button in towards the spine. You're gonna roll yourself all the way down to the mat and just take it nice and slow. 
shoulder blades will come down, your head will drop down, you'll reach your arms all the way back overhead, take a big inhale, maybe letting the back arch off the mat just a little bit. And then we'll exhale, lift arms above the shoulders, you're going to tuck chin to chest, draw the belly button in, press into the hips, press into the heels, roll yourself all the way up. And then inhale, round forward through the shoulders, reaching over for the toes. Let's go four more like that. Sit up tall and then draw the belly button in. Roll yourself back. Base of the shoulders come down. Shoulder blades come down. Head drops back. We'll reach the arms up overhead. Again, maybe letting the back arch off of the mat. And then we lift those arms above the shoulders, tuck chin to chest, draw the belly button in, press into the hips, roll yourself all the way up. And then we inhale, round forward, reaching over for the toes. Awesome. This should be three, I think, drawing in from the belly button. We'll roll things down. You'll thank me for my lack of counting ability right here because this core workout's going to be a little bit tricky. Reach those arms back overhead, big inhale. And then exhale, lift arms above the shoulders. We tuck chin to chest. We're going to draw the belly button in, press into the hips, keep the feet flexed, roll all the way up, and then inhale, round forward through the shoulders, reaching over for the toes. Let's just go one more time. I don't know, is my counting that bad? Big <laughs> inhale up at the top. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Just stick with me. We're going to be okay. Rolling all the way down. Shoulders come down. Head drops down. Arms reach back. Big inhale. And then exhale, lift the arms above the shoulders, tuck the chin to the chest, draw the belly button in, press into the hips, flex into those feet, roll yourself all the way up. And then here we can take that full forward fold, reaching over for the toes, um, folding in half from the hips. We'll take a big inhale, fill up with air. And then we'll exhale out, let it all go. Good. Okay. From right there, we're going to grab onto our ball. We're going to grab onto our weights and then we'll lay all the way down onto the mat. I'd say probably scoot right about to the center of that mat. We'll come down onto our back. The ball is going to come just right in between the knees. You'll lift the knees up above the hips, shins parallel to the ceiling. From right here, your arms are going to reach up above the shoulders. Okay. Your palms are facing towards the tops of your legs. And all we do right here is take an inhale. We're going to bend at the elbows, pulling the elbows out in line with the shoulders. And then exhale, you're going to press those arms back up to straight. Inhale, we bend at the elbows. Exhale, we press it out to straight. Now you may be thinking here, Margaret, why are we moving through the arms? I thought this was a core workout. Why aren't we doing a crunch? Reason being is because holding your knees right up above your hips right here is going to help us to get into the low abs. Let's do four more like this. Four. For three. Two. And then last one. With that last one, we're going to flip the palms in towards each other. Your hands can touch. We'll just take a triceps press. Inhaling to bend at the elbows. Hands are going to lower down towards the forehead. Big exhale, you press the arms back up to straight. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, press the arms to straight. Okay, at this point, we start to feel a little bit of heat building, a little bit of tension building through the front of the body, right about where um, like our abdominal wall is, what we think of as the six-pack abs, erectus abdominis, to throw in some anatomy terminology in there. Good. And then just check in with the knees. Are your knees right on top of your hips or do you feel like they're pulling in towards your chest? Can you press them out just one inch? We'll go for four more. Four. For three. Two. And then last one, we reach those arms up above the shoulders, separate the arms so they're about shoulder distance. We'll exhale, press the hands down by your hips, and then inhale, lift the arms right back up. Okay, exhale, press down. Inhale, lift up. Good, that's all. Press down, lift up. It seems so simple, yet it is so challenging, right? <laughs> like, I know it's not just me. I make you guys do this all the time. <laughs> This is one of the thing, one of the series that I do with like uh, my one-on-one -on -one clients that I always get the most like complaints afterwards, right? They do it with a smile and they're like, wait, why was that so hard? Let's do four more. Four. 
for three, for two, and then last one. Arms are gonna come up. You're gonna um, take the weight that's in your right hand, keep it there. We'll take the weight in the left hand, put it off to the side, and then we'll move the ball. You're gonna take the ball so it comes just to the top of the left leg, and you're gonna press into the ball with your left hand, okay? So we're pressing hand into ball, you're pressing leg into ball, creating a little bit of tension right there. Now from here, we're going to sweep our right arm so it comes out by the hip. Okay, all we do right here is take an exhale. You're gonna sweep that right arm out by your side, taking the hand behind the head, and then we sweep it right back out, hand by the hip. We go out, bend the elbow, take it in, I reach it out. <laughs> did those words make sense together? I don't think that they did. Good, okay, we're gonna add on a little bit here. Okay, next time that you start to take the hand away from your body, you're gonna peel up through the upper body coming into a crunch, sweeping the right hand out by the hip. You'll open it back out, lower down as you bend the elbow, fingertips behind the head. Crunch up, sweep the arm out, open out, bend the elbow, take it down for four more. Four. For three. two, and then last one. You're gonna crunch and hold. I want you to shoot the right leg out to straight, and then just take that right arm. You're gonna lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Good for six more, six. Good for five, four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna bring everything in, drop the head down, pull the knees in, and then we just swap over. We'll do the same exact thing on the other side, okay? So the ball comes over towards the right leg. You're just gonna press into the ball with your right hand, soft little bend at the elbow. You're pressing hand into ball, leg into ball, creating tension there, just like you're doing a dead bug. Left knee comes up above the hip, and then we'll reach the left hand so it goes out by the hip. You'll take an inhale, you're gonna sweep that left arm out, bend the elbow, take the hand behind the head, and I'm gonna flip around so that I don't hit the wall as I do this. That's always my biggest challenge when I'm teaching in here. I'm like, well, I don't want to hit the wall. We're just going to bend the elbow, take the hands behind the head, sweep it right back out. And you just keep going like that. Sweep out, bend the elbow, hand behind the head. No movement in the lower body. So at this point, we should feel a lot of low abs firing. Four more like this. Then we add on that little crunch. This is gonna be three for two. And then on this one, let's add on. As you sweep that arm out, you're gonna come up into a crunch, hand by the hip. We'll lower back down, sweeping the arm out, hand behind the head. Crunch up, reach out, open out, lower down for four more. Four. Ooh, for three. Oh my gosh, for two. And then last one, you're gonna crunch and hold, shoot that left leg out, take the left hand, we press up, bring it down, up and down for six more, six. We'll go five, four, three, two, Last one, we're gonna bring everything in, pull the knees into your chest. <sighs> take a second right here, take a breath. Okay, we've got it under control, we're doing good. We're gonna hit a little bit of obliques for this next bit. Um, you can put the weights off to the side, take the ball with you. We're gonna roll over so that we come onto our left hip. I don't know where my other weight ended up. Um, but we'll come onto the left hip. You're gonna take the ball so it comes just kind of about to your waistline. And then we'll come down onto the left forearm pretty much all the way. You'll bend the left knee in, you're gonna reach that right leg out, and then from right here, we take the right hand behind the head. You're just gonna give me a little press up on the right side, squeezing in, and then we're gonna release it back down. A little squeeze in, and release it down. Squeeze in, it's such a tiny movement. Okay, but we're gonna build off of this. 
Good, and you can even add in a little lift of that right leg as you press up and away from the ball, squeezing through that right side. Good. Now when you're ready from here, we're gonna add on, move that left forearm out a little bit away from you. We're gonna press up off of the left hand, pressing away from the ball, lifting the right leg, and then we lower back down all the way down to the forearm. We press up, squeeze in from that right side oblique, lower down for four more, four, three, two, last one. Okay, with that last one, we come all the way back down onto the left forearm. You're gonna bend at the right knee, pull the knee towards the elbow, inhale, release. Pull the knee to the elbow, let the ball help you, and then release. Bring it in, release it out, Good, we'll go for four, for three, two, and one. You're gonna reach that right leg right back out, grab onto one of your weights, hopefully they are somewhere nearby. Reach that right arm up above the shoulder, you're gonna give me an exhale, pull that right knee in as you pull the elbow down by the hip, and then inhale, reach everything back out. Big exhale, you pull in, Inhale, release out. We'll just go four more. Four. For three. Two. And then last one. Good. Everything's going to go out. You'll take the weight down. Ball comes with you. We're just going to roll over so that we come onto our back. And we'll place the ball right about to where your sports bra strap hits on your back. You're just going to lay down onto it. And you may have to play around with it a little bit. That's totally fine. Legs are gonna reach all the way out in front of you. We're gonna take a little round over the ball. Hands can come behind the head, elbows open out nice and wide. You can open up through the feet as well, press down into the hips. This is going to force your low back to arch off of the mat. That's good, that's what I want right here. Whew, find all that space, open up. We'll take a big inhale. And then you're gonna exhale, tuck chin to chest. You start to lift the upper body up off of the ball. Okay, inhale, we're gonna lower right back down. You're gonna see this movement again when you get your stretch on Sunday. We're doing pretty much the same movement up on a foam roller. However, on the foam roller, it will feel like a stretch. This probably doesn't feel so stretchy. Let's just do three more. Three. Good, we'll go for two. And then last one. <laughs> With that last one, let your head come all the way down again. Just let your back arch off of the mat. Take a deep breath. Ooh, when you're ready, we're going to bring ourselves all the way up as gracefully as we can. Grab onto your ball and we're going to flip over to the other side. Make sure you've got a weight somewhere nearby you so that we can set up to do the same thing um, on this side. Okay, so right hip comes down. Grab onto that weight, just put it right in front of you. You're gonna take the ball, bring it right about to your waistline. I'm hoping I can do this with my microphone where it's at. <laughs> okay, we'll come down onto the right forearm. You're gonna bend that right leg, shoot the left leg out. You can do a little lift of the leg to start, and remember, it's just a tiny movement to start right here. Left hand behind the head, you're just gonna pull up, release down. Pull up, release down. We're almost like pressing up out of the forearm to squeeze hip and rib cage together through this left side. Okay, if it's helpful for you, lift up in that left leg just a little bit. We're just doing three more like this, nice and simple. Three, two, last one, and then we build off of this. Big exhale, we're gonna press up out of that forearm, and then inhale, release it back down. Now again, you could play around with moving through the left leg. I'm gonna lift up just a little bit. I feel like that's what helps me to connect most into the side body. Pulling hip and rib cage together. That's how we get into our core. Good. Three more like this. Three. Two. One. We're going to come all the way down onto that right forearm. You're keeping the ball where it is, but you're pressing up and away from the ball, right? So it's not supporting all of your body weight. Left hand stays behind the head. We're going to lift that uh, left leg up. Big exhale. We'll pull the knee in towards the elbow. Inhale, release it back out. Big exhale. We take it in. 
Inhale, we release it out. Now we're gonna feel a lot of work in the hip as well as in the oblique, that's okay. Let it happen. Let's do four more, four, for three, for two, last one. We kick that left leg out, grab onto your weight, lift it up above your shoulder. Same kind of deal. We're going to pull the left knee in, bring the left elbow down towards the hip and then reach everything back out. Pull things in, release things out. Good. Awesome. Just four more like this. Four. For three, two, and then last one. Awesome. With that last one, everything's going to come down. You'll drop down, um, drop the weight down off to your side. Sometimes the words just don't connect with me. Um, we're going to take the ball and then right here, you're going to press up off of your right forearm. We're going to lay all the way down onto our mat and make sure you take your weights with you. Okay. So they want to be somewhere nearby. Um, similar to what we did uh, to start off this class, we're just going to change up a little bit of positioning. Okay. So you've got weights on either side of you. You're going to, oh, you're going to take the ball and then we're gonna put it right underneath the tailbone, okay? Now, once you've got the ball there, you'll know if you're at the right spot, you're gonna grab onto your weights. Just reach those weights up above your shoulders. From right here, we keep the left foot planted down onto the mat. You're gonna give me a big exhale, lift that right knee up above the hip. Inhale, take it right back down. Okay, lift up, lower down. If you feel too wobbly with the arms lifted up, you get to drop the arms down. That's fine with me. Create a little bit more contact with the mat. Good. And you can press down heavy into the ball, right? It's, it's there to support you, so let it support you. Good. Okay, we're gonna add on a little bit of coordinated movement right here. As the right leg lifts up, you're gonna lower the hands down. As you lower the right knee, you lift the hands. We'll do that four more times. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Feels like a single leg bridge, doesn't it? Kind of similar to stuff that we did yesterday, but different, a lot more core work, right? We're supported in the low back, we're supported in the hips. I think I said four more, so let's just do two because I feel like we've done like a hundred. And then last one. Good, everything comes down, reach those arms back up. We do the same thing on the other side, just holding the arms above the shoulders. You're pressing down into that right heel, resting your sacrum onto the ball. We lift the left knee, pull it up above the hip, and then tap the toes right back down. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. You can take the hands down, that's fine too. Awesome. And then when you're ready, we add on. We're going to lift the leg, drop the arms, lower the leg, lift the arms. Good. See, look at that. A core workout with not a whole lot of crunches. Wasn't that nice? <laughs> I won't be this nice every week, but it feels kind of nice not to do like 20,000 crunches, doesn't it? Let's do four more for real. Four. Good. We'll go for three. For two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, your left foot's going to come down. You'll take your weights, put them off to the side, lift your hips, grab onto the ball. Ball's going to go off to the side too. And we're going to do a little bit of back extension to really make this a well-rounded core workout. Cause what are we, if we don't work our entire trunk, we're going to lay all the way down onto our mat. Arms are going to reach out in front of you. Okay. From right here, we'll keep our left arm still. We're going to keep the right leg still. You'll give me a big exhale, lift up the right Right arm and the left leg. You can press down into that left hand. Inhale, we take things right back down. We're doing four more like that, lifting up, lowering down. We'll go for three, for two, 
And then the last one, we'll swap over to the other side, lifting left arm and right leg. And lower for four, three, two, and last one. Good, with that last one, everything comes down to the mat. Take a second, breathe. I know for a lot of people, back extension is like not your favorite thing in the world, but that's okay. Like we have to move through all the ways the spine can move in order to have a healthy spine and a healthy body. And sometimes you have to do things that you may, might not necessarily love, right? Because it's good for you. I hate saying that, but that's, that is the reality. Um, okay. <laughs> we have one last thing to do right here. We're just going to wrap up with a little bit of swimming. I've been on my soapbox for long enough. We'll take a big exhale, lift the arms, lift the legs. And then I want you to move through opposite arm, opposite leg, nice and slow. Okay. Once you get comfortable there, you can start to pick up the pace. If it starts to feel like too much to have the arms lifted, that's kind of where my body always is. I can't really move through the arms when I do the legs. You can just kick through the legs, take the arms right underneath you. We'll hold here for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everything comes down. Take a breath. Hands underneath the shoulders. You're going to press yourself all the way up and then reach the hips back to the heels, finding a child's pose. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? Just kidding. It was, it was kind of mean. It was, I'll be honest. It was mean. We'll take a big inhale, fill up with air. Ooh. And then exhale out. Let's let it all go. Perfect. From right there, let's pull ourselves up into a tabletop position. My favorite way to release the spine is always going to be a cat cow. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, press the tops of the feet down into the mat. You'll take an inhale, arch at the back, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together, point your gaze forward, still down. We'll exhale, press into the heels of the hands. You'll curve the spine up, looking to the tops of the legs, pointing the crown of the head down to the mat. Two more like that. Inhale, arch at the back, open up the chest. Whoo, and then exhale, press into the heels of the hands, curve the spine up, crown of the head goes down. Just one more. Good. Now when you're ready, we'll just reset into a neutral tabletop position. I want you to imagine that you are a dog with a tail. You're going to take an inhale, shift your hips over towards the left. And then I want you to look over towards your left shoulder, squeezing hip and rib cage closer to each other. Okay. We're going to inhale, release, take it through center. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side, shifting hips to the right, looking over that right shoulder, pulling hip and rib cage closer to each other. Two more each side over towards the right. I have this weird like sneaking suspicion my mic turned off. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Two more over towards the right. That's how you know I've been teaching too long today when I'm like, wait, did my mic turn off? I feel like I've been hearing my own voice for too many hours. Good. Last one over towards the right. Awesome. And then when you're ready, we're just going to bring it right back through center. Take a second. Same kind of thing that we did at the start of class with kind of like protracting and retracting, re retracting the shoulders. We'll do the same thing right here. It's going to feel pretty similar to a cat cow. Um, inhale. We're just going to drop the shoulders forward or not forward down towards the mat. Think about pulling the shoulder blades together and then exhale. We're going to press up shoulder blades go apart. So without the arch and the round of the back, just press it down, pull it up for two more. Last one. Awesome. Okay. With that last one, we're just going to swing the legs off towards the left, reach your hips back towards your heels. Legs are going to go all the way out in front of you. We're just going to take a couple forward folds really just to reinforce everything we just did. Open the legs up about mat's distance, maybe a soft bend at the knees, flex your feet, pulling toes to you, pushing the heels forward, big inhale, reach those arms up and around, press down into the hips, reach the fingertips up and then exhale, hinge at your hips. You'll forward fold. Taking a deep breath down at the bottom, big inhale to fill up with air. And then we can exhale out, let it all go. 
good. When you're ready, just roll yourself all the way back up to seated. You guys are all finished for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know. This workout is a part of my daily 30 minute on demand programming for my Pilates membership. So if you want more information on that, I've got the links down below in the description. Go ahead and check that out because I know you guys love the 30 minute workout. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to and I'll see you in our next video. I just get